OK, so question 19, this was the last question on the paper for six marks. OK, this was tricky, um, but let's see if we can work through it and make it as simple as possible. ACD and BCE are straight lines. So, ACD, that's a straight line, and B uh, and BCE are straight lines. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEC. This triangle and this are similar. This is the key fact to this question. Again, students will miss this and they're skipping things out. They're trying to get everything from the picture. But there you go. That is the absolute key fact. Also, the AB and the ED are parallel. Work out the area of the triangle ABC. So we want the area of this triangle. OK, so let's think here a second. For the area of a triangle, the only thing we know, we know two things. The area of a triangle is a half the base times the height, but that's only useful for right angled triangles or where we know the perpendicular height. In general, for a triangle, it's a half AB sine C. So what I mean by that is if we have two sides, which we'll call A and B, okay, and we have the angle in between, capital C, it's a half this length times this length times sine of this length. So this is probably going to be more useful to us. Now, what would be great is if we if we knew one of these angles, say if we knew that angle there and that side, we could do a half a b sine c with these. So that's what we're going to try and do. Now, we know no angles to start with. However, we've got all the sides of this shape. So in triangle E, C, D, we could use the cosine rule to work out this angle. Now this angle, I'm going to call it capital A. This means this is little a, and these two are B and C in any order. B and C, doesn't matter. So cos A, using the cosine rule, rearranging it, must be equal to B squared plus C squared minus A squared over 2BC. So cos of that angle A must therefore be 5 squared plus 4 squared minus 8 squared all over 2 times 5 times 4. Okay, and therefore A is the inverse cos of this answer here. And we could actually do that in one go on our calculator if we're good. We type inverse cos of fraction and we could type 5 squared plus 4 squared subtract 8 squared Right, and we could go all over 2 times 5 times 4 and close the brackets and we would get ourselves that the, that the angle is, typing that in, is 125.0996 degrees. So we have that angle. Now because these two are opposite, this is clearly 125.0996 degrees as well, right? Now, all we need to do is work out the length of this side. Now, the length scale factor, because they're shapes, they have a length scale factor. This matches this. So the length scale factor must be 18 over 8, which is 2.25. Now, the trick is which one represents which one here. This is slightly longer one, and this is the slightly longer one of the triangles. So therefore, AC must be 2.25. This one matches this one, multiplied by 5, which is equal to 11.25. Now we can work out the area of triangle ABC. The area is therefore a half AB sine C. So a half this side which is 11.25 times this side, which is 9, times sine of the angle in between them, which is 125.0996. Tap that in the calculator. And you get yourself 14.5. And you're done for six marks.